Okay, hi and welcome to the uh, how to install Ventrilo and uh, configure it tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to use Ventrilo since some people don't know how to use it very well or are having problems. So, uh, first of all, we're going to open our internet browser. Okay, so then we're going to go to Ventrilo. V E N T R I L O dot com. Ventrilo dot com. I'm going to put that the link on the video description. So we're going to get this website. Next, we're going to click download. Now, you're going to download the version that's uh, that's well good for you, meaning like that works for you. So there's the Windows 32 bit. There's the Windows 64-bit, and there's the the Mac OS X 32-bit version. So I'm running 32-bit. If you don't know how to check if you're running 32 or 64, even though most people are running 32, uh, well, you're going to minimize this for a second. You're going to right-click on Computer, or My Computer in Windows XP, click Properties. Now, a window should show up like this. In XP, it's going to be a small window but it'll still say. And here's mine's a 32-bit. So you can close it. Now a 32-bit. I agree. Save. Okay, so it's downloading. Mine has a little 2 here since I downloaded it twice just to make sure. It's okay. Okay. Now you're going to get the little Windows Vista uh, user account control thing. Just press allow. You don't see it on the video though, but I get it. So now, now you're going to see this. Uh, you're going to press next. I accept. Next. You can enter your full name. You can change your organization, but you don't have to fill anything out if you don't want. Now you're going to set up, like, do you want anybody on your computer to, to use this or just you? I'm just going to click anybody since I'm the only one. Now, destination folder, you can keep it or you can change it, but I'm going to keep it. Now press next again. Now, um, if you guys, if your clan doesn't have a, maybe a, a Ventrilo server and has a TeamSpeak, well, you, you can check out my next video, which will be how to set up a TeamSpeak, how to set up TeamSpeak. So it's going to wait for it to install, it shouldn't take very long. Okay, it's done, I think. So now, uh, yeah, we get finish. So now we're going to open Ventrilo. Now, uh, mine's already set up, but I'll just delete everything to help you guys set it up yourselves. Okay, Okay. so now it's blank, like you would see it. So, now you're going to click on this little arrow near username. Now you're going to press, when it says set up user here, you're going to press new. Now, uh, I'm going to put my name, the Terminator. Star T C, but you can put your own name. Now my phonetic is going to be the Terminator. It's um, it's when you join the server, it'll say like the Terminator has joined. But uh, you don't want to, you don't want to have it too long. Your phonetic, or else it's going to be like, you know, your name, long, and you know, annoy people because it, it it displays to everybody. Press OK. Now in server. For an example server, I'm going to use the Hell's Gamer server. So, in, in name, you can write anything you want. I'm just going to write Hell's, Hell's Gamer. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go to a website, their website, hellsgamers.com. But uh, you you can use your your clan. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to Ventrilo. But on yours, it might be different. So, yeah, the host name is, is it could be in letters or in numbers. Here it's vent.housegamers.com. Now, now there's also a port number, which should be like, like part of the IP or not. But anyways, so you're gonna put the port, just paste it. Mine is usually four, five or three, four, five numbers, the port number, and password leave it blank. Default leave it blank. Well, if your server has a password, then you can put it in, but this one doesn't. Press OK. Press connect. Okay, 
okay, website disconnected. Okay, you should get this. Okay, now, now you're in. But to set it up, like to put it to the key you want to bind to talk, this is what we're going to do. Press setup. Okay, now, here it says uh, use push to talk hotkey. If you want to remove it, then you're, you're, you could. But then it would be like you talk, and then it would, uh, and it's going to start like playing your voice. But if you want to use push to talk, then use it. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the, the third mouse button, which is the scrolling thing, but just clicking on it. Now, input device, I'm going to change it. Maybe you won't have to, but I will. Okay, so now, press OK. You're back here. So now I'm going to click the scrolling button. And you see where, like, uh, it's green here, meaning that I'm talking. It says, uh, like, XMIT, meaning I'm talking. And, uh, yeah, so you're pretty much set up. So you can just let go of the button, and it goes back red. And, uh, yeah, so it's set up. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, don't worry, if you're using TeamSpeak, my, watch my next video. Thanks.